Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is a video I'm really excited about because it changed my life. <laughs> um, and that is how to take your own Instagram photos just with a tripod and your iPhone. Now, I know that sounds like it's a really small thing, but I really love taking Instagram photos. I know you guys love seeing them. If you're not already following my Instagram, it is here. Um, but it's such a mission having someone to photograph you or trying to photograph yourself or asking the public is like always a disaster. Um, and you just know exactly what you want and it's really frustrating if you can't get it or maybe you feel embarrassed asking people to take your picture. Even your own friends and family, like they take it and then it's not quite what you wanted, but you're too embarrassed to tell them to do it differently. And for me, it was just this whole thing that was like always kind of in the back of my mind. And I watched a video by B. Jones Style, who I cannot recommend highly enough. Her channel is amazing. It's all thrifted clothes in America. She has incredible style. And she has a really, really awesome Instagram. And she did a video about how she just does it with a tripod and a like selfie timer app. And I gave it a try and it's such a game changer. And now I can just go out on adventures on my own, walking around these beautiful cities I'm getting to visit. Just take my phone and my tripod and I can take as many different photos as I want. I can spend ages at one location fussing over the exact orientation of the picture. Um, and I love it and it's been so much more fun for me that I can just go out on a walk and spend the whole day exploring a city and get photos without worrying about who's going to take them or being embarrassed. So I really hope this will be useful to you. I want it to be super practical. I will just show you everything that I do and I'm also going to film myself at one of the locations where I was doing it. So the two things that you will need are a tripod. I actually have a gorilla pod, which I'm using to film right now, but that's the one that I normally use because it's much more sturdy. This is like a $1 selfie stick. Um, but just for example, this is a tripod. Um, and so yeah, you need a tripod. I really like the gorilla pod because you can bend it around things. So you can attach it to railings or a tree, or even you can just change the height. So like with this, you really, you don't have much flexibility of like which way it will lean. Whereas sometimes on the Gorilla Pod, I'll have one leg out really flat so it's quite leaning down or if it's on a wonky surface, you can kind of arrange it so it can lean back, all that kind of thing. And then you need the like selfie stick attachment, which your phone goes in. So if you've never seen a selfie stick, <laughs> now you have. I'm sure you probably have already. So you just attach it in and now you have a tripod. The thing that's really good as well is that you can adjust it to go sideways like this. Um, so you can kind of have like facing that way or facing the sideways, depending if you're doing a square picture, it obviously doesn't really matter. And then you'll probably be tilting it forwards and backwards, like depending on how far away you are, that kind of thing. Um, so those are really the only hardware that you need. As I said, this was from like Poundland, which is like a dollar store. But if you get the kind of Joby pod like I have, that's quite expensive. But any kind of tripod, any selfie attachment. And then the other thing that you need is an app. The one that I have is free and is called Photo Timer Plus. Um, and all you do is you tell it to take photo and then you can choose how many um, photos you want and what time interval. So I do the maximum, which is 10 photos with three seconds at a time. And I will show you how it sounds. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. And that obviously goes 10 times. So it's great because it takes the photo and you can hear it taking it. So, um, it's a little bit embarrassing because other people can hear the countdown and obviously you can just mute your phone, but I find the countdown really, really useful so you can hear like when to pose or when to change position or whatever you're doing for your photo. So I love that app and then it just saves them all to your camera roll. So then when you look at the camera roll, you've got a whole stack of pictures already on there. So then you're gonna have like a whole roll of 10 like this, which just has all your pictures on. Um, and then obviously you can choose them and edit them and all that kind of thing. Let me know if you would like a video about how I edit my photos. Um, I use an app called Snapseed, um, but I'm just starting to learn about Lightroom. I do occasionally use Facetune, although not really. Um, so yeah, let me know if you want a kind of photo editing video. But for now, that is how I take my photos. So. You choose your spot. Right now I'm in Kiev in this beautiful suburb which will be featured in my Kiev video. So if that's already out, I will link it. Um, and then you just want to find a spot. So if there's a little thing to put it on like this, but you can also put it on cars or even just on the floor.
What I normally do is you can put the tripod on the floor and then you get a kind of cool upward style. It depends how far away you can get and what sort of photo you're looking for. Um, sometimes with those I've been sat on the floor so that it's less of like a kind of up your nose shot, but it depends. Sometimes that gives you a really cool angle or there's normally something you can put it on like bollard or a car or a tree. Um, and it might mean you have to adjust what you were gonna do. So maybe you have to sit on the floor instead or you have to do it from a different direction. But most Mostly anywhere that you want to do will work and it's almost just an extra challenge to try and work out how to do it. The only other tip that I would give is to try and make sure no one's going to kick over your tripod or run over your tripod with their car. Um, I normally go with my like Panama hat and then I just put the hat like next to the tripod to kind of make it bigger um, so it's more visible to people because I'm always worried someone's going to kick it over and it's obviously got my phone on it which is expensive but you could just put your handbag next to it but then maybe you don't want to be far away from your handbag because it's got your valuables so there's a bit of caution involved with don't leave your tripod far away because your camera is valuable but if you're in a country where you feel safe or you're somewhere where there's not many people around obviously that is fine and you're normally not very far away from the tripod but for me it has been an absolute game changer so I really hope you have found this video useful and interesting. Let me know if you end up using this method as well and share with me some of your photos or your Instagrams from doing this as well. I will have had my Instagrams popping up the whole time on the screen so hopefully you'll enjoy seeing some of those. If you don't already follow me please come over and do that because I love seeing you there. I do stories like every day so you can get kind of a sneak peek into what's going on in my life um, and of course don't forget to subscribe to this channel I love seeing you guys here every single week I always upload Tuesdays at 6 p.m English time so yeah I will see you guys next week thank you so much for watching and have a great one bye